Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. Okay, so you want to talk about volatility? <laughs> we can talk about volatility. We went from 31 and change, 3181, to new all time highs inside of a session. So that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Um, I will spare you all of the handle count that we did in the room yesterday. It exceeded our, it exceeded the goal that I try to make in a month. And we did it on five or six trades. And we didn't do anything particularly heroic. We just traded what was in front of us. And, and most of it was Globex, obviously. But we had the shorts and then we had the long. And then we managed the regular session pretty well. Um, we were able to jump on that 39 area from the long side. And we rode that for most of the day. It got a little choppy there towards the close. I'll be interested to see what it's capable of doing today. So it extended the all-time highs up to 32.74. It's backed off a little bit, but not much. Um, you can see the nine day down at 44. Um, most rallies are hated. This one is already absolutely loathed by the majority of people that you see out there, whether it's on Twitter or wherever. Um, and you know, the thing I have always said to people is, if, you, if, if everybody's going to fight it, it's not going to come in. At least it's not gonna come in much. So you've got the upper band on the daily up at 3,283. Then you've got round number 3,300. And I get back to the same speech I've been giving you guys for the better part of of, of a decade. Unless the bears can convert a meaningful level and sustain it, we will continue to go higher in the tape. We just will. And if taking out weekly pivot by 50 handles and having them do literally not only a full V on the news move, but now a full V on the market inside of 24 hours, if that doesn't convince you that my statement about the bears isn't applicable, I don't know what will. Until the bears convert a level that matters and sustain it, we will continue to go higher in this tape. We just will. So you can be long, you can be on the sidelines, or you can get your butt kicked 90% of the time. It's totally up to you. We chose we, we choose to not get our butt kicked in here. Um, can news change that? Sure. But um, they tried to, uh, you know, they, they, there, there was uh, some news yesterday around the close or just after about, about rockets and, and, and that knocked it down just a little bit, but they brought it right back. They brought it right back. So if there's significant news, of course it'll go down. But the question is, can it go down sustainably? And I think that, I think that a lot of people out there struggle with the distinction between going down and going down sustainably. Look, we were short, it was awesome. But once it started making higher lows, once it took out 3,200, we, 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 we've been long. Yes, they took it down. They could not take it down sustainably. So the first clue down here in, in the 3180s, you had the monthly pivot, couldn't convert the monthly pivot. Um, then it blew the roundy. And you know by then you had enough higher lows you could find, you know, we took a, we took a two handle risk marker on the, on, on the overnight long two nights ago. And we didn't even come close to catching the lows. So the point I was making in the room yesterday to the subscribers was, look, look at what we did last night, okay? We didn't have, we didn't have this high on the short and we didn't have this low on the long. Yet, you're able to find very good trades in volatility. What a lot of people spend the vast majority of their energy trying to do is, I want to pick the top, I want to pick the bottom. Because it makes you feel smart. This isn't about feeling smart. This is about controlling risk and following price and booking handles, okay? So I will always, I, I will never catch the bottom, I will never catch the top. I will always try to catch 80% of every move. Sometimes I do, most times I don't. Maybe we catch 60%, 65%, but you know what? That's gonna, you know, that, that's gonna meet our goals. So look, we let this come in. And we had done two shorts, 
then I had put out a short against 98 that got ran over. Well, that, that, that was the shot across the bow. That has to be your alarm clock saying, okay, well, I just got run over. If I'm going to get run over here, then I need to change what I'm doing. What a lot of people will do is, well, that, you know, that's bullshit. We're going down. I'm going to add. And then they end up being the squeeze instead of saying to yourself, okay, you know, it's broken our risk marker. It's time to change what we're doing. You have to worship at the altar of price. Price is the one thing that is not going to steer you wrong one way or the other. And, you know, if it does and you control risk, it's not going to steer you wrong for very long. So, you know, there's a lot of volatility lessons to be learned in the last 24 hours. And if you're sitting here in a short that was a position short that is now a swing short with God knows how many ads and you're sitting there clutching your beads, praying that, you know, it comes down. You are the move. Don't be the bug. Be the windshield. All right, that's enough. Um, watch 67 to 69, 70 on the open. Over the all-time high, they could stretch it up to 83. Look, if the Bears can convert 64, they can go back to 50. They really can. For how long, who the hell knows. All right, take care. More stuff out on social. Trade them well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Come check out the room. If you're, if you're, if you're tired of getting your butt kicked, come check out the room. Take care. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.